This is the new Hydrotech SCU 3509K ICE, uh, 30 horsepower, hot water pressure washer, puts out 3500 PSI at an amazing 9 gallons per minute. Got the belt drive general TSF pump on the right, 2900 watt generator on the left comes in handy because this actually system is going down to New Zealand and it's going to be powering a wastewater recovery and filtration system uh, also produced by Hydrotech called the AZV88 which produces processes 8 gallons per minute. This is an all stainless steel frame unit including the stainless steel burner housing, control panel, frame and belt guards and heat shields. Um, great for any kind of climate and weather environment. It has a power meter, adjustable thermostat control, auxiliary uh, control, auxiliary outlet to control the 110 volt, 115 volt voltage to the that comes off the burner, going to either the wastewater recovery filtration systems or auxiliary lights. That's a switch right there with the white light on there, the red light. On the, on the knob on the left, or the switch on the left actually turns your burner on and off, and the center knob is actually a thermostat control. Off comes with a pressure switch and a high pressure chemical injector. We normally rec do not recommend using a high pressure chemical injector because the actual, if it's got a bypass hose going back to tank, the soap can go back to tank, causing foam and soapy water. Uh, not a great situation for a pressure washer. The machine's got a really e easy layout. It's very easy access to do your pump, packing, valve, any kind of repair on the pump head. Uh, they come with two pressure relief valves, a flow switch, which is here on the unit. That's your flow switch right there. Controls the burner. Right there is your pressure switch. So no pressure, no heat, no flow of water, no heat. It's redundant safety devices. In front there, by the green screen unloaded, the thermal heat relief valve. It's got the bypass hose running off to the side. That normally is returned to the top of the tank in order to circulate the water when you're not using uh, the gun. That way it keeps the pump cool and protects the pump from overheating. And that's referred to heat of bypass. Uh, new 30 horse Kohler, the new addition. This came out at the end of the year. It's exclusively offered just to industrial cleaning equipment and supply. You got a diesel fuel tank here. It's an 18 gallon diesel fuel tank, the white one. The red tank on the other side is actually a gasoline tank. You got a Wayne 115 volt burner system along with uh, oil water separator and screw on type uh, diesel fuel filter. Once again, this is an all stainless steel frame. Moving on is the AVV88 seven stage wastewater recovery and filtration system. This is the back side of the unit. Uh, where you can see it in the bottom, it's a cone shaped tank that acts as uh, one stage of filtration. It also has a tank drain, a check vacuum check valve. In front here is the plumbing. Uh, this unit's being assembled in New Zealand. Uh, we're going to be shipping it out this week. It has an inch and a half inlet filter, and then we'll have a uh, low water kill switch attached to the tank in order to shut the engine off if the pump was to, if the water was to run too low. Uh, any risk of running out of water can have air get in the pump. It's called cavitation. It's extremely devastating to a pump. The back here is going to be the plumbing for the 125 gallon supply tank. That'll be your tank drain. The additional 125 gallon water tank on this system is designed as a wastewater recovery tank. Also has a drain on this side here. Additionally, it has within the lid, the final stage filter of the wastewater recovery unit, which is a 5 micron 
bag filter and that actually comes off the wastewater recovery unit to this tank and then it had the drain. It's also going to be set up to have a splitter. allows you to actually run fresh water through both tanks when you don't need the wastewater, wastewater given 250 gallons of total water supply. Primarily we're using it to shut off the front supply tank from the wastewater tank. That allowed the machine to run and operate off 125 gallons of fresh water. This is the front side view of the AVDV88 wastewater recovery and filtration system. Primarily you have a vacuum powered recovery unit that runs off the 115 volt generator. This is a vacuum inlet to the recovery tank. It has two filtration systems. Um, additional on here which are two bag filters, one inner one outer. Inside the tank is two float switches that kick on and off the 12 volt transfer pump and also will shut off the vacuum motor if the tank is filling up or too full in case somebody forgot to turn the transfer pump on to process the water. You got two control switches one on the left is for the transfer pump, the one on the right is for your vacuum switch to activate the vacuum. You have a vacuum pressure gauge to monitor the filters. And then you got a pleated filter on the left and then a carbon filter on the right. You can see electrical cords coming off the unit. Uh, it has a 115 volt outlet to plug into the standard like household plug that is on the back side of the control panel on the Hydrotech unit. Also, it has 12 volt cable that wired to the 12 volt battery mounted up here on the Hydrotech unit. So this is a self-contained system. Um, makes it different than a normal pressure cleaning system is the fact that we are running a 15 foot jumper hose with a series of ball valves. That will actually be mounted in the back of the unit onto a garbage bin cleaning system. Uh, the first valve is to run a, an auxiliary ho uh, hose reel just to wash out the can, something that can have like 25 or 50 foot of hose on that reel. The second ball valve is going to operate one of the swivel assemblies, assemblies with a spray bar on there that actually will get into the garbage bin and clean the first garbage bin. The second ball valve will run the opposite side spinner assembly, spray bar assembly to clean out the additional uh, this is a two can system. Because if we have nine gallon a minute at 3500 PSI you can run both spinners at the same time cutting your cleaning time in half. There's a fourth ball valve on here. That ball valve is going to go as an option to have it go back to the supply tank, that way you can release any operating pressure on the unit when the machine's not running. So if you're going from house to house or business to business, you're able to just bypass that. You may not have to shut the machine off every time, especially if you're only a minute or two away from your next job. But typically, uh, that's your complete system. Once again, pressure switch. Above it is a flow switch. That's your fill for your engine oil. Below it is your engine fuel filter. This is the control panel, back panel, with the thermostat controllers and all your switches. There is a 110 volt outlet on it, which allows you to plug in the wastewater recovery system or auxiliary lights. This right here is by far the best of the best systems that we've ever seen and had. Um, on top of the, the use for garbage bin cleaning, this system's been, been able to been reported back that uh, they can clean parking garage that up to 17,000 square feet an hour, roof cleaning it up to 2,500 square foot per hour. My name is Dan Sweet with Industrial Cleaning Equipment and Supply. Phone number is 1-800-731-7789. Also, my email is sales at ices.net, and a website is www.ices.net.
www.ghostbusters.net. Give us a call if you have any questions.